Lou here one more time and this one's called three versus three dump in race I think I'd use this at the end of practice it's amazing to me uh, how hard these guys will go after dogging it on some of the other skating drills but I think that's the key to being a really great coach is to fool players into doing the right thing uh, by just sort of housing it in a game type situation so anyways you can go three versus three you could go four versus four whatever you want three versus three is good because then you can have your other three over here um, but it's whatever numbers you want I have the coach shooting it in but it could also be a defenseman or it could even be an injured player so that's up to you how you do that as a coach I like drilling it in at the goalie once in a while um, but it can be what you want on the whistle all three players that are on their stomachs, hands on the line, get up, forwards, around the tire, transition or pivot to backwards, transition to forwards, and as soon as that first guy is around the tire, the coach is going to shoot it in on net, and in this case I've just sort of used a little passing arrow, but it's uh, deflected into the corner. It may go this side, it may go this side, hence the question marks they don't really know where it's going but they do have to uh, adjust to that first guy obviously in the zone is going to try and secure the puck second guy in the zone is going to help him out more or less third guy could station himself high whichever side they want to be and then it becomes three on three I normally limit the three on three time to about 15 20 seconds max and if the puck goes out of the zone of the blue the drills over keep track of goals you could do it out of both ends if you had enough manpower and you had another goalie down here uh, great little drill and again it's it's amazing how hard players will go uh, for this one so this is called the three versus three dump in race thanks for listening bye